Greetings, guitar engineers. I'm Desi Serna. Today, I want to talk about one of the most powerful things you can do to make your guitar playing easier and your practicing more productive. Slow down music. One of the best ways to learn and practice music on guitar is to play along with songs that have been slowed down. There are different apps you can use to slow down music. I'll talk about what I use in a minute. And you can also loop song segments and change the pitch of the music in most of these apps. Being able to slow down, loop, and change the pitch of songs has many benefits, including you can hear what's happening in a song more clearly. You can play along with the song and stay in time with the music more easily. You can practice your technique by playing along with looped song segments. And finally, you can change the pitch of songs that do not match your guitar tuning. Let's talk about those benefits in more detail, beginning with slowing down music so you can hear what's happening in the music more clearly. Sometimes a song goes by too fast for you to hear what's happening in the music, especially if you're an inexperienced player. Listening carefully to a song that has been slowed down helps you identify the notes in the music more easily. Knowing how to play a song is one thing. Being able to play a song up to tempo correctly is another. You don't need to give up on songs that go by too quickly for you. And your playing doesn't need to sound rushed or sloppy either. You can slow songs down to more comfortable tempos so you can play along with the music more easily. Then you can work toward increasing your speed and improving your skills gradually over time. Looping is a great way to focus on a particular section of a song and repeat it over and over. For example, you might rehearse the guitar solo in a song by setting a loop that returns to the beginning of the solo on each repeat. Or maybe you only need to focus on a particular section of a solo, so you loop the part over and over and play it until you get it right. <laughs> Some loop functions include a speed training feature. You can set the speed trainer to increase the tempo of the loop on each repeat. For example, if you're struggling to play a guitar solo that is recorded at 100 beats per minute, you can set a loop at 80 beats per minute and the speed trainer will automatically increase the tempo by one beat per minute on each pass. You can improve your playing skills gradually as the pace increases. The same types of programs that are used to slow down music are also used to change the pitch. There are many uses for changing the pitch of a song. For example, many musicians record music with their guitars tuned down a half step in what is known as E-flat tuning. Rather than fuss with completely retuning your guitar in order to play along with songs in E-flat tuning, you can simply raise the pitch of the recording by one half step. If a song is in standard tuning, but your band intends to perform the song in a key that is different from the original recording, transpose the song so you can practice your parts in the performance key. Finally, if you like to sing along with music, you can transpose any song to fit in your singing range. As you can see, there are many benefits to having a program that enables you to slow down songs, loop song segments, and change the pitch of the music. You can make the guitar learning process much easier by taking advantage of a program that provides you with these features. And when practicing isn't so much of a struggle, you'll have a lot more fun too. My favorite software program to use for slowing down music is Song Surgeon. Song Surgeon is a professional grade application loaded with several features, including tempo changing, pitch changing, looper, speed trainer, beats per minute detector, chord detector, and more. 
Song Surgeon makes everything I do as a guitar player easier, whether I'm preparing lessons for students, rehearsing for upcoming performances, or just trying to master a favorite song of mine. If you would like to learn how you can jumpstart your guitar playing with Song Surgeon, go to guitarmusictheory.com slash SS. That's guitarmusictheory.com slash SS. You can click on the link in the video description. Now, one issue you will face when using a song editing app like Song Surgeon is your inability to use protected audio files. Unfortunately, you can't import songs from streaming services such as Spotify and Apple Music because the songs are protected. Perhaps you have a library of unprotected songs you have ripped from CDs. If not, there's an easy way to get the files you need. You can find just about any song in existence on YouTube, and you can easily convert a YouTube video to an MP3 without using any special software. Here's what to do. First, find the song you want to edit on YouTube and copy the URL. Okay, so I pulled up a song that I want to work with, and I'm going to click on the share button. Copy. Now I've copied the URL. The next step is to go to Google and search convert YouTube to MP3. You can click on any one of these free online converters. Now paste in the video URL you have copied from YouTube and click convert. Once the YouTube video has been converted to an MP3, you can click download and save it to your computer. And be sure to ignore any other prompts you might receive, like showing notifications or downloading an application. After you have downloaded your MP3, you can simply drag it into your song editing app. This process works best on a computer, which is what I prefer to use when I'm editing music. And I prefer to use the program Song Surgeon. See the link in the video description. After I make changes to the MP3 in Song Surgeon, I can save the project for future use, or I can export the edited MP3 and play it in other applications. I like to keep edited songs in online storage services, such as Google Drive and Dropbox, so I can access the files from any device and I can easily share them. So that's how I get songs into Song Surgeon, so I can slow them down, change the pitch, and create loops. If you would like to see how Song Surgeon makes it easy for you to learn and practice songs, go to guitarmusictheory.com slash SS, or just click on the link in the video description. Thanks for watching. I'm Desi Serna. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on that little bell icon to receive alerts when new videos are uploaded. Also, please click like and leave me some comments below.